Hey there guys, it's Jade here and welcome back to another video. Today I'd like to show you how I made my nice and accurate prophecies of Agnes Nutter prop book from the TV show Good Omens. I'm putting together an Aziraphale cosplay so I thought I'd make this prop to go along with it. The things you'll need for this prop is an old hardback book, any kind will do, any size that you'd prefer. I brought mine from a charity shop. You have to be prepared to destroy this book. I didn't think I could do it because destroying a book would hurt my soul, but I did it anyway. You'll also need a couple of black tea bags, hot water, some spare paper or baking paper, masking tape, plaster dip or any other kind of sealant, some basic acrylic paints to mix an olive green colour. I use dark green, brown and a little bit of white paint. Some paint brushes or a flat sponge brush, tracing paper, a white pencil, gold paint, sandpaper, black and brown acrylic paint, some paper towel and some matte Mod Podge. So once you have all those items, let's get into making it. So first take your old book, take it outside and start to beat it up. You'll want to beat it quite hard against a brick wall or any other hard surface. Make sure to dent the edges and the corners of the book. You want it to look old and though it's been picked up and used for quite a long time. So boil the kettle or heat up some water and add it to two tea bags. This is to make a tea stain for the pages. Give it a stir and leave it to stew for about seven minutes, but you can stew the tea for less or more time if you want the pages to be less or more of a yellowy brown. Using a thick brush, apply the tea stain to the paper of the book, making sure to get into the little crevices. Then go through and stain the back and front pages as well as go through and stain the page every so often throughout the whole book so you don't just have plain white pages. Whilst the paper is still wet, run your hands over it, twisting and pulling it to roughen up the pages. I left the paper to dry for about a day. Make sure that it is completely dry and the book is not damp. Cover the paper and pages inside with some simple printer paper or baking paper, I ended up using both, and masking tape. Make sure to cover up all of the edges that you don't want to be painted with the tape and the paper. So taking your plaster dip, leave it to stand in some warm water for a few minutes before applying it. When you spray your plaster dip or any sealant, make sure you do it outside in a well ventilated area as it's toxic. Wear gloves to avoid getting it on your skin and wear a respirator mask. I didn't have one of these so I improvised with an old scarf but I would advise against doing this. Then just spray the book with the plaster dip and let it dry between coats. I gave my book about three and left it to dry for a good while. The plaster dip provides a good base for the paint whilst remaining flexible so the book can still be opened and closed without cracking the paint. I will provide some more tips for using plaster dip but this is the first time I've actually used it so definitely look up some other tutorials and tips like I did because I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. To paint the book mix up an olive green colour. I did this by using some dark green, brown and white acrylic paint. You can use any kind of brush to apply the paint, an airbrush is also pretty useful. I used a flat sponge brush to apply the paint to avoid as many brush strokes as possible. The book only needed two coats of paint to have the look I wanted. So 
once the paint was dry, I looked up the front cover design online. The design I found was actually a piece of fan art because I couldn't find any pictures of the actual book from the show. I'll leave credit in the description below for the artist. I traced out this design onto some tracing paper with a white pencil and then drew out the gold design onto the cover of the book. Then using your gold paint, paint out the front cover design following the lines you traced. I used masking tape so I can get some straight lines. I ended up painting with a toothpick for some of the lettering due to it being very thin and tricky to paint. This took a long time so you will need some patience for this. Once it was dry, I took the book back outside and beat it up again to roughen up the paint. You can also take this a step further and pretty much attack the book with some sandpaper to achieve the same effect. I used varying types of sandpaper. Don't be neat with this either because then it looks like you've just attacked it with sandpaper. Just go mad! So the second to last step is to weather the book and make it look older using paint. Take some black acrylic paint, put some gloves on and paint patches onto the book. Then rub over the paint with some dry paper towel to spread it around and wipe it down. You can also use a wet paper towel to remove some of the paint if you think it's too much. Use some brown acrylic paint too and go all over the book and make sure to get in all the cracks and crevices. that's dry, seal the covers and the paint with matte Mod Podge. I applied mine with a sponge brush again just to make sure it's smooth. Make sure you don't use the shiny Mod Podge because you just want to seal your paint and you don't want the book to look shiny. Once that's dry, you're done! So I hope this tutorial was useful for you and I hope you have fun making your very own prophecies book. Keep your eyes peeled in the future for my Aziraphale cosplay work log. I haven't actually started the costume yet but I can't wait to cosplay my favourite sushi loving angel. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.